Are you ready? Are you ready uh, for a is, coffee Friday? Oh, well, yeah, I'm ready for a coffee Friday. Cheers How about you? Uh, to everybody. Cheers yeah, and yeah, love. Yeah. Ever, oh my yeah, God. This is becoming rapidly successful, our well, coffee Friday. Uh, well, it's successful. In it's the fact perking that up. It's Friday. Perking up. Oh, very funny. It's punny. brewing. Oh, yeah, I can feel it. Oh, jeez. Dad jokes everywhere. Well, I am a dad. Oh, so thank you. Golly. Thank you. I don't know if it's successful other than the fact that it's Friday and we're having coffee. So hey, that that if, works for if, me. If that's what it takes, yeah. then we are right. successful. Right. Well we done are. to both of us. Well, you picked the coffee shop again and you picked a I fine did. one. Yeah, we're at uh, Pachamama here on uh, 20th Avenue in Midtown Sacramento. Right, right uh, it's, They're a, a really interesting coffee shop too. They uh, uh, use a, uh, a collective of basically coffee co-ops to make mm -hmm. sure that the people who are that where they're getting their coffee from uh the people are getting paid fairly and uh right. you know just the, it's a more humane way to go about the coffee farmers right coffee farmers right. in other countries and they're you know they've been reaching out they've got getting bringing in coffee from all over the world so right. um so really what country kind of, is this from I, I yeah i don't know i don't know I, i'm guessing colombia maybe. colombia yeah, yeah that's whatever. what i would think yeah. it's about right anyway a lot of stuff's been going on. Normally, you know, when Rex and I get together, uh, Rex is always asking me dumb questions about wine, Napa, and anything right. goofy right. that happens to come across our way. We're going to reverse that a little bit because this guy's got some actually pretty exciting news. Um, yeah, yes. his, uh, he's doing a little radio show. Oh, no, not a little radio show. His radio, new radio show is on iHeartRadio uh, starting tomorrow, right? Yeah, well, it, it, you know, it's already on iHeartRadio. It's on iHeartRadio right. now. Sunday. 10 to 3, we'll be back on. Right? Nice. 10 a.m. to 3. But in a week or two, we'll have a daily show or a nightly show that you'll Excellent. be able to hear. We are on the iHeart app. If you go to the oldies formatted stations. The oldies formatted the stations. The oldies stations. The oldies uh, stations. And scroll all the way down to the bottom. You'll see that 70s channel. Uh, and you can listen right there. I love that. Of course, you got to scroll down to the bottom to right. see yeah, yeah, this yeah. catfish here. Yeah. And then you can also uh, hear it on Live 365 if you got that app. Right. It's been on that. Uh, tune in. It's on Tune In. And uh, it's a lot of fun. It's that is a lot cool. of fun. And um, because I don't listen to the show at all. Right. You know. Well, thank you. But, yeah, yeah. So, But you're, you're, you're yeah. playing awesome music. Uh, the, right. The, Cool sounds of the seventies, seventies and more, seventies yeah. and more. As well as you're talking about, you know, your adventures and kind of the cool right. stuff that's been going well, on, like well, your trips to Napa. Uh, yeah, my Lodi. radio shows, my radio shows have always been about, you know, whatever I've got going on, whatever I'm doing. And I remember years and years ago when I was doing a radio show on 105.1 KNCI. Uh, you know, I would go do these little adventures. I would go do these little <laughs> video adventures, and that's how Rex on the Road kind of started right way. right and so you know it would be like oh i'm gonna go to the coffee shop and and see what kind of mischief we can cause very different than what we're doing today very though. different yeah, than what we're yeah, doing today, yeah, right yeah so what are the first couple things you're going to be uh chatting about well you know? know i've been on this station for about the last year i mm -hmm. took a break for a couple months because rex on the road got a little busy yeah and then really busy and then now we've just came back and then there's this new development iheart radio and uh, it will be syndicated around the country, and it kind of already was. So uh, it's just we're on iHeart, which is the biggest radio app in the uh, universe, okay. right? right. Yeah, exactly. I mean, so right. That's exciting. So, uh, so you're a thousand years old, and you finally got a nationally yes. syndicated yeah. 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 radio yeah. show. Right. Yeah. I used to just be on the air. And Never stuff. give up on your dream, kids. <laughs> yeah, Never. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> uh, but we're, you know, we're just having fun, and radio has changed a lot in the last few years. Absolutely. And so. Uh, this uh, is exciting to be on iHeart, which is the biggest radio and podcasting platform. I think the number one podcasting Well, yeah, I mean, everybody platform. has it on their phone. I, right. I, even I have it on my phone, right. so that's going well, crazy. Well, you're avoiding that 70s channel, though, so I'm kind of worried. Yeah, that 70s channel. Right. I yeah. hate to have hear music <laughs> that was around when I was a kid. That yeah. old, yeah, yeah. I'm, just, I'm surprised it's still yeah. Yeah. there. So that'll be fun. So uh, if you, know, you want to check it out, iHeart Radio, the app. You probably already have it on your phone, uh, oldies, and then scroll down that 70s channel. I'll be on Sunday, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Pacific this Sunday, but we'll be starting the daily show within the next couple of weeks. That is amazing. I mean, really, yeah. congratulations. Well, you, are That's you going to awesome. help me host the show? I will sometime? absolutely. I mean, yeah. I mean, if you could stand my off-key caterwauling of a voice, I would yeah. love to. Well, I have it. for the last year or so. <laughs> I mean, so in a podcast, in, a, in, yeah. in video, so uh, I don't see why not. But it'd be fun to have you on because you could give us the inside uh, Napa. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's so fun. There's yeah. there's so much. I mean, uh, so California opened up this week uh, mm -hmm. on 
Tuesday. Right. And it's 50. been absolutely crazy. Right. Uh, you know, Napa's opened up, people are walking around. But what's also really crazy is, you know, Napa's a destination spot. For oh, sure, definitely. Yeah. For anybody in the world. Yeah. But for all the other states that opened up a little bit before California, people are coming here. Right. In droves. And right. from, you know, and people who, you know, Napa was on their bucket list. They've never been here before. Sure. They've been there before, I should say, because we're right. not there now. Uh, and uh, it's just great to see people out and about, right. traveling, living their lives. It's just been, uh, it's it just, it's really yeah. wonderful. I, I'm, yeah. I'm digging this whole opening California yeah. thing. Yeah. It's like a rebirth. Right, it's kind of like it, that. A little bit, um, you know. We've all been sequestered, you know, and you know, for for, for good reasons, you know, to keep everybody safe. Right. And now, with the vaccinations, with everybody, uh, you know, doing what they're supposed to do, the restrictions have lifted. I was right. listening earlier this week, and yeah, you know, no one seems to think that uh, any of these are going to go any higher, uh, or right. that the, the yeah. restrictions are going to be right. reimposed. So, you know, yeah. It, it, it's going to be, this is going to be a breakout summer. People are going to right. get silly. Yeah, we've been so busy going places that uh, it has really opened up and, and everybody's kind of getting into that mood. Absolutely. Uh, where I'm going to get out. I'm going to have fun. I'm really going to enjoy this. I'm really going to enjoy this because I haven't been able to do this for a year, year and a half. Exactly right. And so uh, you're seeing people. Uh, the thing is, you're seeing happiness. Remember happiness? I don't. Okay. It's this emotion when you're happy about something. Does it bring joy to your heart? It does. It does. Wow. I'm it, all about that and you're seeing that with people that yeah. they're out. I mean you probably see it yeah. at the one I, I, I really do I yeah. mean just seeping people out and also just you know one of my favorite things is do is just kind of like sit at a bar have a drink and talk to whoever right is we've talked about that yeah, before exactly yeah. and uh, you yeah. know uh, in my tasting room, you know, you're seeing it. You're seeing people, you know, come in, right. they're doing the tasting, and then, you know, the other people are there also. Mm -hmm. And then you see people interact with it, and you just see, like, literally, you just see the joy. Oh, uh, yeah. Just like we were saying, just, you know, people talking and having yeah. just a regular, yeah. everyday conversation. Well, I it's think we've, we've all been alienated, yeah. right? And we're all kind of craving that social interaction, whether that um, be, like, just me and you hanging out or a, a large group of people and just see. I mean, oh, that yeah. is life. I, our life depends. On that uh, yeah, so much, if, I if if I could just find a way that I that you're not the only person I hang out with, I know, I, I know, that I would be great. Well, you know, you you can find other people to hang out with. I don't know if yeah. I can. I mean, I, I think I'm that. Talented. I think you can get on Facebook and maybe have. Some what is the there. Facebook question? The Facebook. <laughs> What's that? You know, uh, but. No, so I mean, it, it's great. How are you feeling about everything opening back up? I mean, is that something? Because I think some people may be filled with some anxiety, right? Oh, absolutely. I think, you know, you've been isolated for so long. It's not like you can just, not everybody can just jump right back right. into the situation. Right. Uh, the fear has been so well uh, instilled in yeah. so many of us that getting out there, uh, you know, you can just going outside in some cases has been really rough. I know people who are having parties, uh, they're starting to have parties and, right. you know, they're only inviting people that have already been vaccinated. Right. And if they haven't been, you know, you, you don't get that invite. So there's, I think there's still, you know, caution out there. Uh, and hopefully we can move past that. And, well, you know, I think there's confusion in the workplace, okay? Do we have to wear masks here or do we not have to wear masks here? Have you been vaccinated? Do you have your card? It, it's uh, and it is, it is it's becoming it's going to become this big battle um and there was a shooting the other day i think in a grocery store in florida yeah. and somebody died oh, God. uh so i mean i think you know we all need to just kind of take a deep breath and you know i, I still think vaccination should be your choice i and, absolutely you know, that, that should be board. a personal choice and what whatever you decide to do choice. whatever you decide to do you're fine with mm -hmm. and uh you know, and, and you're comfortable with in your own skin, right, 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 yeah, and you have to be that way. Yeah, you know, yeah. um, you know, we, we do, you do have a choice, uh, and that's you know, that's the great thing about it. Right, right. So, so we're having coffee again, and uh, Jeremy usually picks the coffee spot because he is a coffee professional. <laughs> okay, he's a wine professional, he's a coffee professional, a beer professional, and uh, loves orange juice. Right? I hate orange. juice. Okay, he hates orange juice. Uh, so okay. here's the thing, though. As I've been picking uh, most of the places, I definitely still want to hear from you. If you've right. got a favorite coffee place or your hangout, yeah. or you think that there's some place out there that just needs a little bit more attention, sure. Let us know. Put it in the comments below, and uh, we'd love to hear from you. And we'll go check it out. We're, yeah, we will. We're, we're that easy. Yeah, we really are. We're just looking to have fun and kind of spread some coffee love to local coffee shops. Absolutely. And Jeremy probably needs a haircut. I, I mean, so, absolutely need yeah. a haircut. Are you kidding me? 
This is my COVID hair. <laughs> no. it's well, some, you need a haircut. In some, yeah. yeah, some at some point it's gonna. Yeah, yeah my son cut my hair during COVID for like nine months. Didn't do too bad of a job, and I wear a hat most of the time anyway, so he, you couldn't tell. So, oh, uh, yeah, good. Yeah, <laughs> he's a real estate agent, so uh, well, you know they can cut hair. Yeah, they can cut hair. I mean, come on, why can't they? Why can't mm. they? Well, I guess uh, we'll sign off. For, we'll uh, sign off. Again, we do want to hear from you. So yeah. call in the comments below. Favorite uh, coffee shop below. Exactly. Uh, yeah. And we'll go visit. It would yeah. be a lot of fun. All right. We'll catch you next time on a Coffee Friday. Cheers and love, guys.